CG family. Welcome back to another episode of Car Gang. Today we're doing something pretty crazy to the Mustang. Really crazy. We're getting rid of the Kona blue, which is kind of dumb, but yeah. it's time for a change. But we did take the stripes off, which is like really cool, I it guess. Took, it took absolutely forever because I was the one who gifted those to Grant and I, bought, I got them off Etsy and the stripes held up pretty well, but when you took them off, the adhesive was absolutely terrible. In Insane. I mean the adhesive on those stripes was like nothing else, but we got adhesive remover and just scrubbed at it all night last night um, I'm kind of sad to see him go though because I liked the stripes a lot But um, it's time for a change like she said since we got the stripes off We haven't taken it to a car wash So we're gonna go to a self-serve car wash clean it up and then come back and prep it for the wrap And that's when we're gonna be revealing the wrap so stay tuned. Yes. So we have Stella with us here, and uh, we're about to drive to the car wash. Our wrap is actually in the car. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna pick it up. Yeah, I have no clue, but you can see how dirty the car is right now. We're gonna get it super clean, about to drop bands at the car wash to make sure that this car gets cleaned. Big boy moves. <laughs> She's got big guns on those arms. Stella's like, what the heck? So if you guys have seen our other videos, you know that Grant has already revealed the wrap, but in case you haven't, stay tuned. Yes. Cold start on the stain. Not bad for a V6. So guys, we are approaching the car wash. Christina went with Stella in the Kia to Petoskey to get some Starbucks. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna arrive, we're gonna clean the heck out of this car, try and get it as clean as possible. And the ride home is gonna be very tedious because we're gonna be driving like our grandma. So we don't wanna spit up any salt or dust or anything onto the car. And the people in back of me are gonna be like, what the heck bro, go. But we have made it. So she is all cleaned and uh, ready to go. I can't even remember what she looks like without stripes, but we're gonna head back to my house and put her in the garage and then clay bar the car to get it ready to wrap. All right, ready. You know what time it is? What time is it? What are we doing? Instant detailer and clay bar. It's time to clay bar, homies. What's up, homies? I'm back. I drove 40 minutes to go get Starbucks because there's no Starbucks near here. Yeah, I did it. I got back. I got a venti um, iced caramel macchiato with extra caramel in case you guys were wondering. Test the wow. drink out. Tag me. That's what's up. Uh, <laughs> but now it's time to clay bar the whole car. We're still working on prepping everything. As me and Grant have mentioned before, prepping is probably the most um, important step of anything when it comes to vinyl wrapping or building a house or something like that. But yeah, we're gonna be <laughs> we're gonna be clay barring the car, getting rid of all the contaminants inside of the vehicle or outside. And then what we're working on tonight is basically the details of the car. We're not expert vinyl wrappers, so we don't know what we're doing. It's our first time, but we do have a pretty good idea, and we do like to perfect pretty much everything. So I think me and Grant, at least I have the confidence that we'll be able to kill this. And yeah, so what we're working on today would be the louvers. I feel like that's gonna be really hard and the door handles. Well, this is after we prep everything. And then we're gonna catch you guys tomorrow morning when we continue to work on the car. And today we're not, you know, like she said, we're not professionals. We're not even gonna be taking things off, right? We're not taking off the door handles or the louvers and stuff. We're leaving everything on the car while we wrap it. Yeah. Not the best idea, but we are just lazy in that manner. So uh, don't get mad. Yeah, don't get mad at us, guys. If you're looking for a tutorial, click out of this video. <laughs> Make sure to give it a thumbs up before you click out of the video. Um, we'd really appreciate that one right there. Bye bye to the wax and the surface contaminants and oils and grease and dirt. And most of all, the Kona Blue. We are getting rid of it. It will come back obviously soon enough once we have to take this wrap off. And we'll go more in depth with the actual wrap, what it is, what it's called. And it's, let me just tell you guys, really difficult, probably the most difficult wrap to vinyl wrap your car with. And I, we're terrified because we've never- We've never even wrapped a car before. Yeah, we've, de we've wrapped parts of cars, like certain parts, and Grant's helped his friends out before, but we have never fully wrapped a vehicle by ourselves. And it's not just regular like Avery or 3M wrap. No, this, this stuff, like, I've, it's not even meant for wrapping your car. Yeah. It's not even meant for wrapping your car. Yeah. But, but we won't do it. For the vlog. For the YouTube. For the YouTube. So what you doing right now? I am just literally just clay barring. I'm using detailer and a clay bar. And I'm just spraying it. 
clay barring it, you can feel it once it kind of gets smoother. Yeah. That's when you know that all the surface contaminants are off of the clear coat. And then just wipe it down with the microfiber and do that to the whole car. Awesome. I'm gonna show you guys the wrap. Um, I know some of you guys have already seen it. Those are the real, the real ones, but I'm gonna still show you guys to the newcomers. I'm just trying to figure out why this is so heavy. Oh. So this is what it looks like. It's like a color shifting freaking candy cane toy candy. Um, that's how I describe the wrap. Um, you can see the color shift of it. It's gonna look super sweet in different um, times during the day. This is what it looks like. Imagine the Mustang with this. You don't even have to imagine because we're gonna show you. And we're not gonna make a part two out of this video. We're gonna do it all in one take. Bye guys. <laughs> Me and Stella are going on a walk. And I- Bye bye. I'm doing a license plate delete, you guys. So we are taking the license plate. We're gonna be taking some other small things, but we're not gonna be taking off like big body parts of the car to wrap. That's what you're supposed to do. But this ain't a business. This is just our cars. And we're hoping that the wrap's gonna stick on for at least just a year because we've read multiple and multiple reviews. Granted, a lot of research on this wrap and they said you guys are lucky if it stays on for a year, so. Wow. His license plate was barely on. But we're gonna wrap to the best of our abilities and see how long it lasts. Grant's paint is in pretty good condition for what it is, so we're not worried if we have to take the wrap off, unlike my 350Z where the paint condition is not amazing. So it always needs wrap unless I actually fix the paint. So yeah. Now I need to find a table so we can lay out the wrap and cut out different parts and such. Ooh. Perfect table, perfect. Let's see if I can remove this thing. Ow. Ow. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait till Grant gets here. This thing is heavy. No! But I wanna surprise him when he gets back. So we got the table set up right over here next to the Kia and that's gonna be our main workspace, but this is where the Mustang is and that's where Stella is. And we have a bunch of like heating um, machines, freaking heaters, whatever they're called. Yeah, heaters. That's, yeah. And we got one right there. Oh shoot, my dog's right here. That shit was like over there. All right guys, what are we, what are we up to now, Grant? Well, now we're about to uh, lay the vinyl down on the table and prep the surface of the louvers with alcohol. So, what he said, these are the louvers. Grant put them on pretty recently. And, and I painted them. Yeah, and he, and he painted them Kona blue. But now we're about to wrap them. I feel like it's probably gonna be the most difficult part of the car. It's probably gonna be other difficult parts, but this has a lot to work with. I mean, we have to worry about every single like curvature. You see all of this. That's gonna be really hard to play around with, especially with this wrap uh, right over there. I got alcohol. You generally want 80% or higher. Uh, but due to the pandemic, Coronavirus. we can only find 70%. 70%. Excuse right. me, Blanc. Oh, here is the wrap right over here. We've explained it a thousand times before. All right, guys, so we are finally cutting it. I don't even, I'm scared to even do this, you guys. Holy crap. This wrap is, it is very thick and it apparently it scratches easily though. So we will see what we are working with. All right, so now we are going up to the louver and measuring it just to see how much we need. We're gonna leave an inch, an inch and a half on each end. Um, I'm going by the squares and it looks like this edge right here is perfect. So let's go cut it. This is what it's gonna look like. Yeah, <laughs> just like that. It's gonna tape it on. Yup. All right, dude, I don't even know how the hell we're about how to do gonna this. How are we gonna get started? I don't, I don't even know. know, all right. <laughs> Uh, well, time lapse time, I guess. Yep. <laughs> Christina's back there. We working, guys. We're doing it. We're vibing to music, though. Chance the Rapper, more specifically. But Christina is working it, and it's actually looking pretty good so far. <laughs> like, it's not perfect, obviously, and the louvers are the hardest part. But for our first time ever rapping and starting on the louvers, it's not going to get much better than that. Yeah, and these louvers aren't the greatest base to work with because um, obviously Grant's the one who painted them. No, like, I'm just saying it's not a professional job, so we have like... Wow, what the hell is that supposed to mean? I, I'm just saying, like, we got, we 
got some bubbles going on, but there's nothing we can do about it because the louvers have a lot of bumps on them. Yeah, they're not like as smooth as the actual clear coat, but yeah. hey, we'll show you guys the finished product. We just finished wrapping the car. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's really hard. That's the whole car. <laughs> so That's all we got time for today. Please like and subscribe. Share this video if you enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, but for real, it turned out pretty good though, not even gonna lie. This is our first time wrapping. First time wrapping and first time using this like really- The most difficult wrap. The most difficult wrap. That's not even meant for a car. So, but you can see there's very bumpy on there. That's because of the way I painted it. And then there's some defects and imperfections. I forgot my coffee. Right there. So- uh, We do plan on coming back and rewrapping some parts if we don't like them. Yep. But for now we're leaving it and moving on to the next part. Yes, let's go eat dinner, do the next louver and then continue our journey. Corvette, Corvette, hop them up and do it like that. Talk like that while you walk like that. What's up, guys? We just had some wow. dinner. We just ate dinner. Um, I just was doing a quick TikTok dance, but we are now moving on to the other side of the louver right over here. We know a little bit better. Obviously, now we're going to be dividing each section of the louver to wrap and yeah, we'll catch you guys. Yes, I actually, yeah, I wanted to point that out on the other one real quickly. As you can see here, we didn't wrap it all with one piece. We actually took a piece and cut it in two, three individual parts. So, well, I guess that'd be four. Yeah. <laughs> but you can see it's seamed right here. And that's the thing with this wrap. I've read online, I've heard from multiple people that you want to seam this wrap. It's so thick that when you heat it up, it won't really stretch and bend very well, and it takes a lot of heat. So they said, don't be afraid to seam lines when you have to along the car. But we're about to wrap this louver and we will be right back. And we are back. And uh, we finished this one. Actually, we didn't finish it. Christina finished it. Huge shout out to her. I actually kind of wrapped the other one for the most part, kind of. I kind of took leap. She did this one all by herself and it looks a million times better than the other one. So I'm about to have her do the other one because <laughs> I don't know where she learned to wrap, but this is actually amazing. Like compared to the other one, obviously there's still a little, you know what I mean? Like it's not gonna yeah, be perfect. Some corners and stuff, but it was right. Okay. <laughs> but no, so we're gonna work on the spoiler now. Uh, we're kind of like we said, getting the smaller parts. Ooh, the parts that aren't fun, right? We're gonna have to wrap the front bumper in like three different sections, but uh, we'll see. Stella's still uh, she's chilling in the house. And uh, yeah, let's let's get this. And this wrap is just so hard to bend and fold. Like there's so many, you know, you get a lot of crinkles and stuff. Yeah, imagine, imagine you own a, t a what's it called? A vinyl shop? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I was saying, imagine, <laughs> no, imagine you own a vinyl shop and a freaking Lamborghini pulls up there like, I want this color. Make it Not happen. Not even a Lamborghini, because Lam a lot of Lamborghinis have like flatter lines. That's even though they true. have Like imagine like a JDM car that has an insane front bumper. Yeah, no, but I'm saying like an, ex yeah, like an expensive car and like you can't say no, you know right, what I mean? Right, and right. you gotta perfect it. And right. it's like, oh my God. What's the worst car to wrap? What do you think? Oh, um, I think people say G-Wagons a lot. Very hard to wrap. No. Yeah. G-Wagons are all of, flat lines. Yeah. What? I know. No. I've That's the that biggest before. lie ever. I've heard that before. That's so. the big, there's no way. It's just because there's so many like intricate parts you have to just take apart I and see. wrap. What the heck? Yeah, so I don't That'll be my last guess. Yeah. So let's keep going. Let's uh, let's keep rocking it. I don't know. Honestly, what do you, do you think we're going to call it a night after the spoiler? Um, Maybe. What time is it? It's past two. It's like 2.30. It's like 2 right now. 2.30 yeah, a.m. So uh, we'll see how we feel after the spoiler and we'll get back to you in a minute. Yep. So we got a new car here and we're going to wrap it. Yeah, can't forget about the Gallardo. Because uh, why not? This will be a perfect resemblance of what the V6 will look like. Just kidding. All right. So here we go. We are about to apply. Oh, we can't do that. Y'all thought I was kidding. Let me see. Ooh, oh fire. <laughs> That's fire. That's so this is what the Mustang is gonna look like. Except the, I don't- the, the creases and everything. <laughs> the creases and everything. You, you guys think that it's gonna look better? Nope. We're gonna have these big creases on the Mustang, <laughs> but it's gonna be all right. So uh, I wasn't actually planning to wrap this because Christina got it for me and I kind of melted the inside of the Lamborghini, but we won't tell her that. So yeah, we're finishing up the spoiler though. Still like, what time is it now? Like three in the morning. Yeah. Um, and we still have to do the under part of the spoiler under here. And then we're going to go in and go to sleep. Oh, it's 
sleepy. I feel like we're vlogging like a, like we're on a ship and we're like vlogging our last days alive or like us trying to survive or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sleep deprived. Okay. Bye. What's up guys? It's currently day two of um, wrapping the Mustang and all we did yesterday was wrap the freaking louvers and I got some square pieces on the Mustang. Yeah, you decided to camo wrap it. Yeah, just to sample it. What are we working on today? Oh man, uh, front bumper, I guess. Which is probably one of the hardest as well. And it has to look the nicest as well because that's the front of the car so everyone sees when you pull up. Or... All of it has to look nice. Yeah. All right, guys, you know the drill. So we just sized up the front bumper, part of the front bumper that we want to wrap. A very small part. A very small part. And we are about to lay it down and chop it up and use a heat gun. We're gonna time lapse this thing. As I was mentioning to Grant, it's funny because usually with vinyl or like wrap in general, using a heat gun helps you a lot to like stretch the wrap and get it uh, to mask on the edges perfectly. But with this, using a heat gun really puts you in a bad position. It just cringles up and it doesn't work well with you. So kind of sucks, but hey, we're getting there and we're learning with it. So we are finishing up the upper portion of the front bumper. As you can see, it actually looks pretty good. And um, Christina's done most of it. Again, <laughs> no surprise. Uh -huh. uh, so, huge shout out to Christina. This part will be interesting to do right here. Oh yeah, that, I forgot about that. that Man. Be, right. And then we have this part. This is gonna be really complex. And then of course this underneath. But yeah, we're about to go take a food break and finish off the front bumper, which will probably take us the rest of the night. Dude, we're Think gonna so? yeah, we're gonna be cutting it close, but we're getting all the hard parts out of the way, so we're hopefully we'll be able to fly through like the doors and the trunk, and I guess the back bumper will be a little bit difficult. That's probably the last hard part, and then we'll fly through the hood and all, everything else. So we will get back to you guys after we eat dinner. What's up, friends? We made it back from dinner. We took a large break. We watched like Top Gear. <laughs> A JDM episode though. Had a bunch of dessert. But we're now big. we're back and we're gonna finish up. Do you wanna say like 50% of the car? <sighs> Not even. But hopefully, we'll hopefully finish the bumper, the front bumper tonight. Guys, we're having a door handle challenge. I am the king. Okay, yeah, like she said, we are having a door handle challenge. I just wrapped this. Guys, but I just wrapped this door handle and i will show you up close how good it looks she is about to wrap the driver's side and we are going to see uh who, who can does a do better job yeah who can do the best and then you guys are the ones who we are depending on to be the judges so please literally comment this time when i tell you comment below which one was better because uh, uh mine is obviously going to be better all right guys, so Christina finally finished the, uh, well I say finally, like she took a long time, but she didn't. Um, in all fairness, she did take a little bit longer than me though. I'm just saying that because she did better than me. Uh, no, I did help you with your, uh, She helped me with, with my, oh yeah she, yeah, she did help me. We did finish the trunk, just a quick update. But to show you guys the finish results of the door handles, here is Christina's door handle. Now she had the driver's side, meaning she has this little thing that she has to deal with. Uh, it turned out pretty good though. Let's see if it focuses ever. It turned out really nicely. She got it nice and smooth and uh, minimal crinkles. But what I'm impressed is she even got the bottom looking nice. That is where I failed at. As you can see, the trunk is coming together. But here's mine. My top is stunning actually. And the bottom is terrible. So, you know, I, I think I won. You think so? Yeah, I think I got you. I got you in the bag. I, know, I believe you. <laughs> no, you're I'm supposed to be even, cocky. I'm not even preparing. <laughs> <laughs> well, she is working on the bumper again. Uh, whoa! Wow. I, I'm not trying to kick up dust here, but oops. And uh, yeah, she's killing it per usual. So uh, it's currently what time? Two in the morning, three in the morning? Yeah. It's pretty early, no, or no. late, early, late, whatever you want to call it, but we're trying to keep our energy up for you guys, but we're like ready to go to sleep, and we're going crazy for the second night in a row. But um, <laughs> yeah, no, my point is we're leaving from, we're leaving here what? The day after tomorrow. Yeah. So we, we yeah. have a lot to 
We have one more night. One more night. So we got a lot to do. Like the car, luckily we're getting the hard stuff out of the way, but we got a lot to do. So before we go to bed and hit the hay for the night, I just thought it was pretty cool that it's actually 16 degrees outside. And as you can tell, I'm wearing a t-shirt right now and that's because it's 60 degrees in the garage. No, we don't have a heated garage, but we got two heaters going and we have the door to the house open with the heat blasting inside. And it's a very well insulated uh, garage. And dude, come on, 16 degrees outside and I'm in a t-shirt right now. Like, and it's not a heated garage. That's just crazy to me. But yeah, it's like, what time? Four in the morning right now. So we're about to hit the hay and we will see you guys in the morning. And we are back with day, what day is it again? I don't even know. Three, day three I think. And uh, I'm currently wrapping the eight pillar right here. I guess this is the eight pillar, but extends into the back panel. And Christina is still working on the front bumper. What is this? Did you put this on me? No, what are you talking about? I'm just about? kidding. I'm a king now. Uh, she's still wrapping the front. Trying, man. She's trying. And um, we have a lot to do. Today is our last day and we gotta finish. Like, literally look, it looks like the car hasn't even been touched for real. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be working a lot today. All right guys, it is a race against the clock. Uh, night has fallen <laughs> and we just ate a quick dinner. This is what we have done so far. We are seaming a lot of parts and even though some parts could be taken up, like we could have done this whole side without seaming it right here. Yeah, so if we have extra wrap at the end, we will redo this part. Yeah. But um, the whole other side of the car is still empty basically and yeah. we still have a lot to do. So. But obviously just a tip for you guys, um, if you guys are going to buy this strap, you know, as everyone says in your beginners, make sure to buy more than what you need, a lot more than what you need because man, you're gonna mess up more than you think, um, especially with this wrap, so yeah. Yep, so we'll keep you guys posted. We're just <laughs> drained, but we are still going at it. And yep, that's basically it. Guys, Christina finished the door. So the car's actually coming along pretty well. It's coming along. She did the whole door by herself, like, bro. Are you proud? Clap it up for that. Clap Thank it up. You. Uh, it's getting really dirty in here though, and uh, we're gonna, oh yeah, I put my hair in a bun because it was going in my face. I put it in She put it in a bun. Um, but we're gonna clean up because, yeah, and Stella's by the door because she wants to go inside. Uh, I'm not gonna put that in the video. I'm not putting that in the video. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna do some tidying up and then we're gonna get back to work. Yeah, my phone's on 10%. Okay. That was my whole jam, man. Had to stop the music. Can't get the copyright. <laughs> but it is nearing 1 a.m. and we got the side of the car wrapping up. We're gonna redo this panel uh, if we have enough wrap afterwards. Yeah. Shout out to Christina for doing like the main three panels. But um, we're not showing you like, like I obviously am showing you kind of how it looks, but we're gonna really show you guys how it looks once the car is completely finished. Um, Which is gonna be in this video. Yes, and uh, so stay tuned to see how it actually ends up turning out. But um, yeah, it's about 1 a.m. We are done with about half of the car. We still have the hood and the other side of the car to do, so. Yeah, and the back bumper. Day three, you guys, and we have finished fully vinyl wrapping the car. The first ever Neochrome wrapped Mustang. Mustang. I don't know, there's probably one out there, but still like, I'm just so excited. Yeah, we've never seen one before. Um, we've only seen an M5 and that's through pictures and you we've seen a... Oh, you know what time it is? Montage time? It's montage time. We'll cue the montage for the reveal. <laughs>
but obviously as you guys know it's a hard wrap to work with but I'm just so happy with how it turned out I can't wait to see it in the daytime and when the sun's out yeah for sure so yeah we were just gonna give you guys obviously some our experience with this wrap and stuff Hate to say it, we didn't have enough to rewrap the parts we wanted. Not even rewrap, we didn't have enough to finish the car. Yeah. We didn't have enough to put a wrap on the roof or on the side skirts. So. Yeah. As far as our experience with wrapping, everyone likes to um, complain about how terrible this wrap is, how bad it is to work with, and stuff like that. And this was our first time vinyl wrapping a car. So not only is it our first time wrapping, we chose the hardest wrap that's available. You know, we've wrapped, I've helped my friend wrap their cars, and she's wrapped parts of her car before, but we yeah, never but wrapped a car to its entirety. Exactly. So um, I'd like to say what I've told a lot of people so far that have messaged me. Um, I will get to all my messages, but um, I've messaged a few back. We've been just so tired. We've gone on like no sleep. We've pulled like two all-nighters and whatnot. We Guys, literally we literally pulled two all-nighters and last night we were up till 10 30 in the morning. We slept and now it's dark out. Like yeah, that. we just woke up like two hours ago. Yeah. So what I was gonna say was um, obviously if you have zero patience, this is not for you. You can't be really hard on yourself if it's your first time wrapping or if you're just wrapping for the first time with like chrome vinyl. I just suggest having a lot of patience. Don't get mad at yourself if you have to redo a whole panel because you messed up or something folded and you didn't want it to. The problem with this wrap is it doesn't work well with a heat gun when you're applying it, but as soon as it's applied and then you start using a heat gun to tuck in parts, it works wonders. It, it works yeah. perfect. And I've read multiple places that this wrap isn't even meant for wrapping your car, like yeah. the outside of your car. I don't know exactly what it's for then, maybe interior trim or something, I don't know, but I've read multiple places for multiple people. Yeah. Um, so it's only meant for flat surfaces apparently. Yeah, and a very important note as well, sorry I'm tired, I keep slandering my words, but this wrap is really important to post heat. So that means go over every single panel or every single part you do with um, a heat gun and just keep using a squeegee or your mitten or finger, whatever you have to start smoothing it out. Also, um, as far as it being illegal or legal, we don't know yet. Um, I know you have to have a certain like reflectivity percentage for it to be illegal. Um, I'm pretty sure this is legal because our friends have had worse like reflective uh, vinyl and they have never got caught for their wrap. So I think we'll be okay. Um, it probably may differ in different states. We'll also leave a link down below to this wrap. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Obviously we aren't experienced vinyl wrappers, so hopefully nope. this motivates you guys to wrap your own vehicle and not drop bands on taking it somewhere and getting it wrapped. Because who needs people to wrap your vehicle when you can do it for yourself? Yeah, and plus for your future cars, you can gain more experience. You'll be like, okay, this is not a problem. Obviously it depends on the curvature of the car. And as far as the Mustang, I think it was pretty easy to lay everything down, do you think? Yeah, it was, it's a fairly easy car. Other than the front bumper and the louvers yeah that's a pretty simple car so that's the louvers right there and obviously those are add-ons but the front bumper was pretty difficult as is every car uh, everything else was pretty easy it is currently the next day and this is the car in the sun i'd like to do something with the rims that'd be pretty sweet but this wrap looks awesome this is actually my first time seeing it right now in the sun and it's either coming off one of two ways, uh, a fat ticket or it starts to peel. But wow, I am very happy with how it turned out. One thing I would have done different is I wouldn't have tried to seam it right there because on the other side we did that in one piece. Um, but man, this thing is gonna grab attention like no other and I love it. Again, hope you guys enjoy this and we'll catch you guys in our next video. We will be wrapping the 350Z soon with a similar wrap, kind of different. And please give this video a thumbs up. Anything to say? Nope. Deuces. Peace out. <laughs>